No, we kept we kept it polite, man, because I could have gotten very ugly. It, it, that those 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 waters run very deep between Boston and New York, so we, we kept it uh we kept it professional. <laughs> I'd have to say the craziest bet that I regret not making was Manny Pacquiao, Ricky Hatton. I just talked to Freddie Roach, and I'm asking Freddie, you know, what do you think? And Freddie's always pretty spot on about the fights, and he's like. Hatton won't make it out of the second round. I was like, dude, we got to we got to bet on the game. It's 40 to 1 odds. And we literally we were going to put a million dollars down. <laughs> and I didn't bet at all. And uh, that was like a kick in the stomach because he didn't make it out the last second of the second round. Oh. But I was just happy that Manny won the fight. <laughs> LeBron James. <laughs> you never know when he's going to come out of the bag on you and just like, you know, start like raining, you know, King James. Like, oh, man, I'm out. <laughs> you know, I, the only time I really bet is if I'm playing my friends. If I'm playing my friends in golf, we're playing basketball. I bet a lot while making the movie um, on things that I wouldn't normally bet on, but uh, I'm not that big when it comes to gambling uh, unless I know I have a chance to win. But the thing that I bet on most was repeats of UFC fights, and I already knew the outcome. And these guys that I'm with and working with don't know the outcome. So they're like, oh, I like this guy with the blue shorts. I'm like, yeah, no problem. You take the blue shorts. I'll take George St. Pierre.